Hey, Internet friends, it's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative and magicbrad.com, and I got Jeff J. Hunter on the line. How you doing there, Jeff? Happy to be here. Yay! And Jeff's down in California, right? I am. Yep, I'm about an hour and a half east of San Francisco. You're north of the fruits and nuts. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yep, matter, matter of fact, really close to, to Casa de Fruta. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I spent a couple of years out in California. It was an experience. I didn't want to stay out there. I was out there working with a friend on an event, and I was thinking, maybe I can make a living out here doing magic. But everybody there does magic, tap dances. They can sing. They can dance. They can do gymnastics. They can wait on tables, and I drew the line there. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, dang it. That's not magic what everyone's doing. That's just day. <laughs> so I came back home here to Minneapolis, Minnesota. So... Jeff, I don't do these very long. I keep them kind of condensed so people can kind of just get to know who you are and what you do. And then what I do is I propagate them out to the internet. And uh, the whole synergy collaborative concept is if you could share it also, that's what uh, a rising tide lifts all boats kind of thing. So first off, who are you, Jeff? Are you married, got kids, single? What are you? Yeah, so I'm married. <laughs> Actually, this is my 10th year. We're going to be celebrating our 10th anniversary this year. Really? Um, my, my wife, Anna. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and my my son who's five, we'd love to have more children, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, and uh, yeah, we uh, we live out here in California. Uh, basically, um, I've been a corporate project manager. I used to work at Phillips, you know, Fortune 500 company. I used to be a, a veteran project manager there. I used to mentor other project managers, and then I started realizing that. I could actually do this myself outside of, of, of a company. And I started managing my own projects and building my own virtual teams. And now uh, I have my own virtual team of 47 people all around the world. Um, wow. They're my virtual assistant team. If you go to Google and type in virtual assistant team, like literally you'll see me and my team. <laughs> um, and uh, basically I've built a cool team to do projects for other people. And I also help uh, people build their own teams. That's, that's so cool because I try, I, I'm a, I've been an entrepreneur all my life and I have a hard time letting go and having somebody else do stuff for me because I kind of want to yeah. do it myself. But it's the only way you can break free of the laborious thing like writing blogs and all that kind of stuff. You can have someone else do yeah. it. And these days you can actually help out some people in some of those other countries like the Philippines and India and all that that don't yeah. have the funds and now you can start paying them substantially more and getting the job done. And, uh, you know, the yeah, whole thing about uh, make America great again and keeping it all here and all that stuff. I think it's kind of leveled out a little bit. We've got jobs here. We can start businesses here. Well, the, the other thing is, too, is that, you know, Americans, it's hard to find Americans that want to copy paste data all day. It's it's hard to find Americans that that want to do the, the tedious work. And, you know, I you know, Americans, they and this is the motto I have. My company motto is actually work smarter, not harder. Sure. Um and, you know, I have team all over the world. I've got people here in America. I've got people in Australia, UK, <laughs> wherever. Um, I just hired my first person from Pakistan. Um, but I'd say about 80% of my team are in the Philippines. Um, and the reason why is because not only, do, not only can you find amazing talent uh, there, and, you know, but the economy is so, so depressed over there that, like, we can really make a huge impact in lives over there. Right. And, you know... People are making on average about nine dollars a day, so two hundred ish, two hundred and fifty dollars a month is like an average salary over there. Um, and to be able to pay someone, you know, m double that, you know, as a starting position, is just absolutely amazing. It's just, uh, you know, it's life changing actually for them. So uh, that's something that I I'm really excited about, and uh, I teach, I basically teach people how to do very valuable skills that Americans don't have time to do, like manage your social media, build email campaigns, uh, data scraping, running my LinkedIn campaigns. You know, I have someone dedicated to log into my LinkedIn account. Matter of fact, we have 53 clients that are using the service to log into LinkedIn, find ideal prospects and clients that you want to work with and just start adding them, connecting to them and sending them messages. Right, right, right. right. So, so that's what it's about. It's about working smarter, not, not harder, and it's about opportunities. So Jeff, you're sort of the middle person kind of that someone doesn't have the time to do all that stuff. You can kind of say, here, I can take your project and I can find the right people to pull it out into place. And you go even one step further and you kind of train them in on what they're supposed to be doing. 
So what I found is that entrepreneurs suck at project management. <laughs> um, so what I've done is I've built a team called VA Staffer, Virtual Assistant Staffer, VA Staffer. Um, and basically what that allows uh, the entrepreneur to do, who doesn't have time usually, is we have 47, you know, well, with my 47 is my team in total, but I've got six, seven people on my team that are project, uh, project managers or project success team is what I call them. And what they do is they actually help people organize and delegate things out to the virtual assistants, which is usually a really hard place to be. Right. Most people, they go, they go on Upwork, they go on these different websites, and what ends up happening is they hire someone, but they don't have, they don't know how to delegate, they don't know how to make instructions, they don't even know what to have them do in their business. So I kind of built it out in a, in a tiered system to where I have a virtual assistant that, that can do things, and then I have a team that actually works with you, speak amazing English, right? All Understand right. marketing who can help you figure out what you actually need, need to get done in your business, put a plan and strategy together and then have uh, work with delegate it. Right. Good. So like if I've got something to do, that's part of my challenge is how do I communicate this to somebody to do this stuff? If I don't understand what they're doing, how do I communicate what to do? So you're kind of yeah. like, like say if I wanted to have a blog put together, a, a WordPress blog put together. I don't know the internal, what's the plug-in, what's this thing do. I just want to have a website that does, you know, takes in the payments and it uh, has a calendar on it. And I can convey that to you. And then you know how to communicate that to these people to get it done. Exactly. Okay. Right. Exactly. Very efficient. That's exactly what VA staff was built for. It was kind of the, it's a hybrid model between a marketing agency and a virtual assistant agency. So Here's the marketing. We help you put the strategy together, figure out what you need to be, what needs to be done, and then they delegate to the team. So it's a really good solution out there in the market. I mean, I get five to ten inquiries every single day to use our services. Um, so I know it's a big need. My goal is to double my team. I want to have over a hundred people. I'd like to have a hundred people by the end of 2018 um, that are built to serve and and really do amazing things for for people. So I have my done for you services, which is what VA staffer is. And then I also have a lot of, a lot of people come to me and they say, look, I already have a VA or I already have a few VAs, but I'm just not getting the results that I need to out of them. Um, so that's why I built my nights in life philosophy, my nights in life program. Uh, and that's about delegating that 90% of your life away and focusing on that 10% that's really valuable. You know, um, um this is a, another interesting part about, because the middleman has sort of been cut out since the internet came into place. It's sort of been, uh, you know, you don't need a taxi driver. You can just download an Uber app and you can do it yourself. And yeah. so it's interesting that you're a middleman because now there's somebody like a client. I'm the client. I can kind of hold your feet to the fire and say, this is what I want done. And you know how to communicate to that to those people. Because like when, when I'm trying to work with the VA, and then uh, the, I say, could you get this done by Friday? And they go, then you got all this stuff like, oh, my daughter was sick and I had to kick her out of school. And I don't want to hear that shit. So I can say to you, Jeff, get this person on it. I don't care about their daughter. Delegate to someone else then, right? And that's why I, that's why I build a dedicated team. Uh, because, you know, most of the time when people come to me with nightmare stories about working with virtual assistants, they hire freelancers. Um, and freelancers, don't get me wrong, they're great situationally, but the problem is freelancers are never dedicated to you. They're dedicated to whoever pays them the most. And they get diffused a little bit because they got a lot of projects they got to do. So it is, it's exactly that. It's whoever's paying them more money gets clients and whatever else. And you know that's why I like the dedicated model. You know, and and I'm a hybrid. It's perfect because what happens is I solve two main problems in in the industry, which is. Clients want to have a dedicated person that they can work with long term, but they usually never have enough work for like full time employment. Right. Right. Or they want that one person to do all these different things that they can't do. Like they want like if I 99 percent of the time somebody tells me about their horrible VA and I'm like, OK, well, tell me about what you have your VA do. Next thing you know, they're saying, oh, I have them do the social media. Uh, I have them build me a click funnels. I have them do an email campaign. Um, I have them transcribe my audio. Uh, I have them do my video editing, and I'm like, dude, this isn't a VA. This is like, this is this is like a super put uh, super woman or That's whoever. Sla it is. Slave like, labor. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's like you're literally just throwing everything at them, and that's why a lot of times they quit is because they're they don't they you have to keep people focused on what they love to do. So what I do is my 47 person team they're specialized in certain things. You want a video editor? 
you got a video editor. Right. You need a WordPress person, you got a WordPress person. You need a graphic design, you got a graphic designer. You want social Very media, cool. we got a social media person. Oh. Right. So they're always doing that's what the Knights in Life philosophy uh, folds over into the team is because I want my team just like us, I want my team focused on the 10% that really provides the most value to them in their life that they love to do, the passionate about, they're motivated about. Um, I just got done interviewing Tom Bilyeu. I don't know if you know him from Quest Nutrition. Um, he's a huge motivation. He's an influencer on pretty much every platform. He's everywhere. Um, I had a great interview with him, only two minutes long. But I asked him what the trick to motivation, uh, what the trick to uh, being focused and guess what it was? It was about being motivated and passionate about what you do. Yeah. If you're motivated and passionate about what you do, you stay focused and dedicated. Then to it, it. it draws you to it instead of you trying to trudge through it. It pulls you towards it more inspirational. Exactly. So it's the same principle. Like why would we as owners, as business owners, entrepreneurs, uh, why would we think it's fair for us to do what we want to do and then delegate everything <laughs> else that we don't want to do to someone else sure. that they're not passionate about. I don't have time to clean the toilet. Exactly. <laughs> so, that, so that's the same, exactly why I started building my own team. So I solved two main problems because, so here you have the entrepreneur like us who wants to have all these different things done. So I have people that do all these different things, but on the other side, Guess what virtual assistants want? Guess what those those freelancers and or the, the, the team members want? They want reliable jobs. They want right. to do things that they actually enjoy to do. And the, believe it or not, they want to get paid on time. They, they want right. to have good organizational skills. They want to be a part of a team. Another reason why virtual assistants don't work out is because they feel isolated. And sure. it's really tough as entrepreneurs and owners to be constantly communicating with our virtual assistants. It is tough. And that's why I also have my project success team. I have camaraderie built out. Like even right now, if I look at my project success team right now, um, I, I can, uh, I don't know if it's going to be backwards or not for you, but I want to show this to you. Okay. Uh, so, you, so you guys can see, I use a communication device called Slack. Uh, and what's funny here is I have my team inside here. And we're communicating about stuff. So if you take a look at my screen right here, you can see, is it backwards to you? Uh, no, it's right. Oh, I can see all my team on here. We have all these different channels and stuff that we're working on. We're having a funny cordial conversation with Brandon, who's my web developer out of, uh, he's out of Kansas City, actually. Or, okay. Uh, he's in Kansas, Pittsburgh, Kansas. And we're having a funny chat with some stuff, the stuff that I'm recording how to do. And, you know, we're having a little cordial conversation and that's something that they miss because they right. really enjoy being all of us. We, we're humans and by nature, we are relationship based. Exactly. I'm glad you brought that human factor in there because I'm trying my part of my mission is to move the online chatter back into real life activity like this. Otherwise, it ends up being robots talking to robots and nothing gets done. So pretty much. So I don't like to do these too long again. I like to keep it condensed so people can get to know who you are and stuff. But before I ask my favorite question, is there anything that you have to offer or like a website or a free ebook or something like that that you, you know could so they can get a hold of you? You know what? A lot of people, they don't have a virtual assistant because they don't know what a virtual assistant can actually do for them. So what I'll do is I'll send you guys a link. And if I, I, I guess I can share this uh, you can send it over. Um, it's called, it's called my guide. It's 17 tasks that every business should outsource to a virtual assistant. Um, is that on your actually, website or something? If, if you go to 9010life.com forward slash 17 tasks, uh, I'm actually going to share this with you right here. This is it guys. Look at that. 17 tasks. Every business should outsource to a virtual assistant. Uh, you're going to learn how to use a virtual assistant to increase your productivity oh, okay. and time how to do more stuff. This is actually Leanne. She's been working with me over three years. She's now obviously my beautiful model on this cover. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. And so if you download that, um, it'll give you some ideas of, uh, of what you can expect to delegate out. And I also have a training that if you, if you sign up for this, it'll, it'll, it'll invite you to a training if you want to attend. It's about an hour and a half ish okay. um, on how to actually, uh, hire a virtual assistant, how to train a virtual assistant, um, that could be super helpful for all you guys. Perfect. 
Well, I'm going to ask you my favorite question, and then um, we'll sign this off and beam it up to the internet. But if you could stay on after, I'd like to chat further with you because you got my interest peaked. But <laughs> here it is, the big W, the big Y. Why are you doing this? Why aren't you like a ski instructor or a... Why, why didn't you open up like a barber school or something? You know, <laughs> my why is really simple. Um, I really feel that we can make such a huge impact. And I believe that entrepreneurialism, that, that through capitalism and entrepreneur, entrepreneurialism, we're able to empower so many people. And, you know, corporations and stuff have such a bad name, like big corporations and this and that. But what people don't understand, I just got done going to an event called the City Summit. I got to hang out with Ashton Kutcher. I have a picture with him. I got to hang out with Jeff Hoffman, the guy who started Priceline.com. I got to hang out with Jack Canfield, even do an interview with him. I got to hang out with Ty Lopez. I got to cool. hang out with Tom Bilyeu. I got to hang out with all these amazing people that have built crazy businesses. And guess what? They're all using their businesses to make the world better. Right. And I feel that I have an opportunity as an entrepreneur to do that. And when you work at a company or a corporation that has that motto, it's great, fantastic. If you're an entrepreneur, like I feel this is the most, the best way to give back, to not even give back. I don't like the word give back because it, it makes you, makes it's like you have to receive to give. Right. Like giving, giving, giving is so important because if you know the old proverb from the Bible, right? It talks about, you know, giving someone a fish versus teaching someone how to fish, right? right. You, you teach someone to fish and it gives them food for life. And this is an ability, this is, this is my why, is that, you know, my wife and I and our son, we went to the Philippines, lived there for an entire month to develop out my team, show them very valuable skills that they can use, whether they stay with me or whether they leave to another company or whatever they end up doing in life. I know that I've given and empowered them to really change their life and make a big impact and provide for their families and do amazing things in this world. And that Very makes cool. me wake up and smile every day. Well, I appreciate that. That's two thumbs up for you because that's uh, I do a lot of these <laughs> interviews. And when I ask that why, oftentimes I get that they want to help other people. So there is hope for humanity. I'm in a total agreement. The ability to give someone some education that they can store in their head rather than selling them a thing that's going to disappear and rot or get sold or fall <laughs> apart or whatever. So use it. that's what I do is I sell business education and, and live event experiences. It's all about the knowledge. Yeah, you know, that's right. Cap on Ty Lopez, you know, because he has that funny video of him. He's like, here I am in my garage with my wife. Hi. Right? I'm here in my garage. I don't know. <laughs> here in my garage. And then he says, but you know what's more valuable than all these Lamborghinis? And he turns over to his bookshelf. He says, knowledge. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's funny because a lot of people thought knowledge, he, I wouldn't have these Lamborghinis. Yeah, a lot of people right? thought he was fake. And then you see uh, it, all these celebs walking into his house. So Very cool. It's but you know what? If you think that. Hope you cut out there a little bit. You cut out there a little bit. Come on back. You, you, Am I back? Yeah, you're back. <laughs> I said, if you think about it, though, knowledge is by far the most valuable thing on this earth, right? And if you think about it, no one talks to the guy who knows a little bit about something. You wouldn't want to go to a doctor who knows a little bit about surgery, <laughs> right? right? I'm you dabbling. To, yeah, you want that's, to go to the best. That's always cracked so, me up because they're practicing physicians. Practicing. Exactly. <laughs> and it's like, let's do this the right way, guys. Let's become industry experts. Let's be the best of the best in our business. And guess what? People will pay you for that knowledge because you. it's basically like giving someone a shortcut. Exactly. You know, they say there's no shortcuts in life. That's absolute bull crap. That's true. All you got to do is hang out around the people that have already done it and totally been agree. there, and they're going to save you so much problems. Totally agree. Blaze the trail. I try and do that with people that are trying to get in the events industry because I've been in the events industry for a long, long time, and I can cut a lot of, sh make a lot of shortcuts for you so you don't do what I did. Oh, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to beam this one on. If you can stick on here for a little bit, I'd like to talk with you. So, Jeff, thank you very much. Peace.